What's up guys, Justin here from justthisgood.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your photos look like a screenshot from a movie. Alright, so we're in Photoshop and we've got our photo open and ready to edit. So the first thing we want to do to make it look more cinematic is get the correct ratio. So we're going to head over to our crop tool and if we hit the ratio drop down menu Photoshop actually provides us with some commonly used presets and the one that we're going to use is 16 by 9 which gives it that widescreen look. At this point you can adjust the crop box to a position that looks interesting or that you'd like to use for your photo and then go ahead and select the check mark or enter on your keyboard to confirm the crop. Step 2 is to add a cinematic color effect. So for this photo where it's kind of cloudy and gray, I think a little bit of cross-processing effect would look good. So let's go ahead and go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. Alright, now on the composite red, green, blue channel, we're, we're going to want to add an input point at about 62 input and 45 output. We're going to want to add another point right in the middle you can eyeball it and adjust it for your photo. And then we're going to want to add a third point at a, about an input of 187 and an output of about 210. So that's just going to add a little bit of contrast boost to your photo. Now on the red channel, we're going to want to add a point at about 54 and an output of 31. We're going to want to add another point more towards the middle at an input of about 105 by 86. And I'm just typing these in here because I've kind of got them set. So you can follow along. And then we're going to want to add a point at about 148 and 144. And then lastly, we're going to want to add a point at about 200 and 210. Again, if you think it'll look better on your photo with some of these points pulled a little bit up or down, go ahead and make those adjustments. I've kind of got my points preset for the sake of this tutorial. Next, we're going to go to the green channel slider. Pretty simple. We're going to make a point at about 87 by 60. And then we're going to make another point at about 231 by 231. And we're going to call that a day there. And then lastly, on our blue channel, we're going to drag the top slider down a little bit to about 255 and an output of 165. And then we're going to add another point at about 163 by 150. And lastly, we'll add one more point at about 75 by 80. So again, you can fine tune these however you like. It's going to be different on your photo and you can pull things up or down if you want to give it a little bit of a boost. But that's the main effect. I had all the points written down so you can rewatch that and kind of see. But if we head back to our composite channel, this is what it should look like. And so we've got our cinematic kind of more moody color. Lastly, we're going to add the letterboxing, which is just those black bars that you see on the top and bottom of many widescreen films. So go ahead and make a new layer. And then grab your rectangular marquee tool here. For the style, go ahead and select fixed ratio because we're going to use a ratio of about 2.35 width by one height. This is just a common cinematic widescreen ratio and it's really going to suggest that this is really a still from a movie or a screenshot from a film. So I, all I did was just clicked on the outside of the canvas and made a selection all the way across the canvas until I hit the end and now I can actually click inside and feel around until Photoshop tells me I'm at the exact center with those guidelines. And then I'm going to right click my selection, select the inverse, and now you see I have 
the top and bottom selected. So all I'm going to do now is right click, fill, and the contents, we're going to fill black. Alright, so there you have your widescreen bars. I can right click and deselect. And that is pretty much your final effect. So we've taken our cloudy, kind of dull photo, and we kind of make it made it look like it's a scene right from the trailer of a movie. If you like this tutorial, you had any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to reach me on my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's all just this good. And check out my website, www.justthisgood.com to find the full PSD for this tutorial where you can look through all the layers and kind of check out what I did a little more closely. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.